So, you're thinking about moving to South Louisiana and cities like Araby, Louisiana. Today in this video, I'm going to be giving you a Google Maps tour of Araby. I'm going to be showing you what the city has to offer, as well as how far you are away from other attractions, things to do, and restaurants nearby. Guys, stay tuned to the end because I'm going to be answering one of your burning questions about Airbnb, Louisiana, towards the end of the video, and we're getting after it right now. My name is Carson. My girlfriend Natalie and I are real estate agents and investors with Weicker Realtors, Losher Properties here in South Louisiana. And guys, we love helping people in the process of buying and selling real estate. If you are looking to sell your home, we will either sell it for you or we'll buy it ourselves. And if you are looking to move in the next week or in the next few months, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, schedule a Zoom call with us, guys, and we'll get you all situated. Uh, and we will, we will be here to help you make that smooth move to South Louisiana. If this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know anything and everything, the good and the bad, about living in South Louisiana, cities like Araby, Louisiana, then subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current real estate market here in South Louisiana. All right, guys, so if we look at our map, Araby is gonna be this little rectangle right here. It looks more like a subdivision than it does a city. Um, but Araby's got a population of 4,500. It's in St. Bernard Parish. You're right next to Chalmette and the rest of New Orleans. If you live in Araby, you kind of live in Araby and do everything else outside of Araby, either in this area or this area. Um, Chalmette's got a population of like 24,000. I believe um, as for things to do in Araby there's uh, the Shalmet battlefield which is right here I went to the Shalmet battlefield when I was in elementary school this is where the Battle of New Orleans took place but if you like history this is a good place to check out if you're a history junkie you know um, there's a monument it's cannons And there's, um, there's these stands, of course, that you can uh, stop by and read. But, yeah, I mean, it's a fun place to, to check out if you like history. There's um, the, uh, the French Quarter, guys, is right here. It's five minutes away from Araby. You're not really missing anything. Um, when you live in Araby, there isn't much within the city limits, but it doesn't matter. Like you, everything that you need is right here or right here. Like I mentioned, um, you're basically living in New Orleans. You're technically not. Uh, Araby separated from New Orleans in the 1880s because New Orleans said they didn't want a slaughterhouse in there. <laughs> In their city or something like that whatever it was Araby got out Araby uh, became its own um, in, in the 1880s um, the reason why it's such a good place to live is because property taxes are lower than cities in this area in this area st. Tammany Parish too um, Property taxes are lower, but crime is also lower, which is a major plus for families that are relocating to South Louisiana. Um, so that is something that you should know about Araby is that property taxes are lower and that crime is lower. It's a nice little pocket to be in because you're right next to everything, but you're not really technically in New Orleans. You're in this nice little pocket. But like I said, everything that you need, you can get to. You're within 30 minutes of the airport, which is right here. The uh, the mall, the Lakeside Mall, which, the I mean, the Lakeside Mall has got everything you need. That's the mall that I go to. My sister and I go on trips to the mall um, on occasion. But, um, yeah, mall... 
the zoo. The zoo's right there too. All your major attractions are less than 30 minutes away. If you are on the North Shore, all this stuff is an hour away. Uh, it takes you about 30 minutes to cross the bridge. Um, so that that's a major plus that if you're an Airb, you've got that nice little pocket of a uh, lower crime, but everything is right here. You're five minutes away from the French Quarter. You are five minutes away from the CBD, the uh, the Central Business District, not the uh, not the um, pain relieving supplement that people are uh, hyping about. <laughs> this is a uh, this is Jackson Square, guys. If you haven't been to the French Quarter, you have to go to the French Quarter. That's kind of what New Orleans is known for. Um, let me find it real quick. That was Jackson Square, which is inside of the here it is inside of the French Quarter. So um, I mentioned in the pros and cons video of New Orleans that one of the pros is that the architecture is beautiful. And I mean, come on, look at this. This is a, one of the most popular buildings in the country, let alone Louisiana, is the, the cathedral. But you've got to go to the French Quarter and walk around to these little shops and you can get your your beignets and your cafe au lait from cafe du monde which is also in the french quarter while you do that here's an interior picture of the cathedral but like i said five minutes away from the french quarter here in Araby. and the uh the city park is right here. You're so close to everything. That's 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 my main point to you in this in this Google Map store here. That um, you're not missing anything. You've got everything that you need right outside of Araby. Anywhere you need to get to in the New Orleans area is a quick drive. You don't have to spend a lot of money on gas. But um, City Park, got to go hang out at City Park every once in a while. Take advantages of the parks near you. Humans need to be more in nature than they currently are. In my opinion. Yeah, guys. So... I said what I needed to say in this video. You just you just need to know that in Araby, you've got less crime, you've got lower property taxes. Um, what and uh, and every everything that you need to get to is right here or right here. One of your burning questions that I know you guys are wondering about is, you know, hey, didn't Araby and Chalmette flood like really bad uh during katrina like weren't people standing on their roofs because the 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 water was was all the way up um completely covering their houses during katrina yes that is true but what you should know is that uh saint bernard parish built new levees since hurricane katrina and there's a much lower risk of it flooding now that they've built those levees so i hope that that settles your your nerves about living in a place like araby um now that you've heard that but yeah guys that was about it for today's uh google maps tour of araby it was more like a how close you are to everything tour than than a than an actual tour of araby itself just because it's so small but um now you now you know where you are in relation to everything else i hope that you found value in today's video guys
Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's Google Maps tour of Airby, Louisiana. If you found any value in this video whatsoever, do me a favor and subscribe and tap the bell for notifications. Guys, Natalie and I love helping people just like you with the process of buying and selling real estate. Remember, if you're looking to sell your house, we will either sell it for you or we will buy it ourselves. And if you're looking to move in the next week or in the next few months, guys, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, schedule a Zoom call with us. We will be more than happy to help you make that smooth move to South Louisiana. Thanks, guys.